Hello everybody, welcome to another Bloomberg Terminal video. This is the fourth video in my Bloomberg Terminal series, and uh, I had a suggestion recently on one of my other videos that I should cover the Bloomberg Launchpad, and that's exactly what I intend to do today. We're going to take a, um, a very basic look, it'll be a primer on the Bloomberg Launchpad and how the system works. So before I get into this, if you don't know what the Bloomberg Launchpad is, is a feature built into the Bloomberg Terminal that allows you to set up custom views. And this is particularly useful for professionals who uh, really want to customize what kind of content the Bloomberg Terminal displays. And it allows them to save those views so that when they come in in the morning they can just launch them instead of, instead of having to set them up uh, every single day. So for the purposes of this um, tutorial, uh, we're going to be uh, bouncing between monitors here. I've got a three monitor set up, but we're only going to be using two of them. And I'm going to be bouncing bouncing between my main monitor and my left side monitor, which is now blank. And we're going to be using this blank uh, monitor as a canvas for our Bloomberg launch pad. So we're going to be setting up some views here. And um, it'll be, again, very simple. This is by no means going to be an exhaustive uh, tutorial on how, how Launchpad works, but it should be enough to get you started um, to set up your own views. So the first thing you want to do, uh, typically Bloomberg Launchpad does start up automatically with Bloomberg Terminal. I do have that disabled. Um, however, what, you, what we can start by doing is going to BLP New to set up a new view. And what that's going to do is going to bring up a tiny little window and that tiny little window, I call it the controller. Uh, I'm sure it has a, um, I'm sure it has a more specific name. I don't know what it is. It's irrelevant though. Uh, and here's the window, and this this allows you to sort of control your uh, Bloomberg Launchpad views. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our left side monitor, and we are going to drag this right over here, and uh, I'm going to drag it right into the corner. So you have two ways that you can set up views in Bloomberg Launchpad. You can either set them up from this Add Component window, or you can set them up via the uh, main Bloomberg Terminal window, uh, in which you would type in LLP in order to launch that particular view in Launchpad. We'll do that as an example in a short time. Um, as a matter of fact, let's do it right now. So let's make the assumption that we are, a, let's say, a sales trader or an equity trader. And this is our first day on the job. And we need to set up our views so that we can you know, launch them every morning when we get in. That way we don't have to go through this process every single day. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, or the first thing I want out of my views, is probably going to be news. So what we can do is we can actually go to Add Component. And uh, let's say I want top uh, news. I'll just type in top, and you'll see it suggests uh, top news right away. It helps to know certain Bloomberg shortcuts in this window. Now, the top news launched in my other monitor, which I'll show you right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it over from that monitor to the canvas, the blank canvas here, and we've got to decide where we want to place it. So uh, I don't want it to take up a whole lot of space, so we're just going to throw it down here. So that's our first window of our Bloomberg Launchpad view. And now I am probably going to want uh, to see the time around certain markets uh, around the world, so what we're going to do is we'll just type in clock and this is a component of the Bloomberg Launchpad. Again, that launched up in my other window, and right now we have two particular clocks, and uh, I want to add some more, so we're going to go to Settings, and we'll add um, Chicago. And we'll try and do this from west to east here. London, we'll add um, Hong Kong. And then we'll finally add Sydney. So our clock is set up now, and we can modify it in such a way that um, just kind of keep it down here. 
OK, great. So now we can see the time around uh, the world. I don't know very many people who use the clock here, the international clock, but it's, it's available to you. Now, let's go ahead and uh, make the assumption that you want some stock quotes available to you. So what we'll do is we'll type in vert for a vertical quote line. Again, that's going to pop up in my other window. I apologize for that, but we're going to drag it over here. And this is going to get you some very, very basic um, information, bid ask on a specific stock, and we'll add a couple of these. Actually, we'll probably add more than a couple. We'll add like four. And of course, you can always change your views, and they usually stick to each other. You see the little blue border there? And, um, kind of see if we can squeeze one more in there. It keeps popping up in that other window. That's okay. It's not a big deal. And we'll squeeze that right in there. I'm a little OCD about the windows matching up. So in here you can now type in uh, specific equities that you follow and uh, the last price and the bid ask will show up on your screen. That way if you have a client uh, that you know follows Tesla for example you can have it right up when that client calls you and asks for uh, a quote. I don't know how many people are calling up anymore asking for quotes, but some people still do, believe it or not. And so now, uh, let's go ahead and add uh, some information about the equity indices. Or actually, yeah, we'll do equity indices. So uh, I will do world equity indices. And we'll pop that view right open. And I'm going to drag it over for my other monitor. Again, I apologize for that, but that's just uh, the way that it is. And we'll size that up. And now we have a great view of the world equity indices. Now, all of these things are available to us in the main Bloomberg window, right? So if I go to our main Bloomberg window, if I go to WEI, our world equity indices are, you know, right there in large form. However, if I go to the side window, you'll see that it's much smaller and it fits on your screen so you can have it available to you. But let's say you're in here and you want to have a view that you have open and you want to add it to your launch pad. You'll see the command is right there, LLP, although that doesn't show on every function. So for that, let's assume we want the Bloomberg quote window. Okay. Well, this is the main Bloomberg window, but I don't want it to take up my whole entire window. Uh, so what I'll do is I will just type in LLP and it will say launch and launch, uh, launch and launch pad, and you can see the window pop up right there. Let's scoot over to our other monitor. We'll drag it in, and we'll make it a part of our uh, Bloomberg launch pad screen. So now when a client calls you up and says, um, what's the bid ask on Alcoa, um, you'll just bring up Alcoa and you'll have some information available for the client along with some you know, uh, time and sales information and so forth. So another thing we can add is sort of a graphical dashboard or a graphic dashboard this is just basically a, going to give you specific shortcuts and a pretty little view if that's what you want for a particular security. So we'll just add that right over here. And as is the case in most launch pad windows, you can change the security you're looking at right at the top. And we'll, uh, we'll change that to American Airlines just at random. And so, 
now you have a, a pretty basic understanding of how this works. Um, so let's see if there's anything else we can bring up here. Um, let's say I want scrolling news headlines. I think the command for that is NH. It is news feed. So this will bring scrolling news. Um, you'll see this is the window that came up. So um, it allows you to customize. Actually, let me see if I can get rid of this and just make it applicable to the whole market. Let's say we want to make it applicable to the S&P. That works for me. So we'll throw that right up here and fit it in appropriately. Kind of. So now you have you're now you're in the loop with uh, news related to the S&P 500 and then you have your top news down here and then let's say for the sake of fun, I guess, you want to add a an intraday chart. So we'll come here and we'll choose um, actually, you know what? Let's go back to our main monitor. And right now we're looking at Apple. Um, let's see what the intraday bar chart looks like, IGPO. And uh, let's say we want to add this to our, our views. Again, we go LLP. There's our, there's our window. And we will add it right in. So now you can take a look at your chart or all your data is available to you on one specific screen. And then you can go over to your main display and do whatever you need to do here so you know I might reserve that for financial analysis of a particular firm or I could be looking at something else that you know requires the full display meanwhile I have in my launch pad all the views that are convenient to me as a uh, an equity trader so obviously what you want to do is save this view and we can call it um, daily view and uh, we'll save and so we can actually set that as a default so when we come in, in the morning we launch Bloomberg that view will be uh, the view that comes up and you can customize it and then save it again so that's a very brief look at uh, Bloomberg Launchpad and how it works um, virtually anything you can launch in the main window of Bloomberg can be launched in Launchpad. So the command for that again is LLP and that will throw that into a small window that you can resize accordingly and throw anywhere on um, your screen real estate. So that's all for this video. Uh, like I said, very quick, but I think it will get you started with the Bloomberg Launchpad. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, I will leave you to it. Thanks for watching.